So today I'm going to be seeing some new unreleased cars in Greenville. And none of these vehicles have actually been released into the game yet, but most of them are expected to come in the next update. And I'm honestly really excited to show you guys this stuff today because some of it is actually really insane. Anyways though, before you get into today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are on the road to 17.1k subscribers. Thank you guys so much for 17,000 subscribers. It honestly means the world to me. It is crazy how fast we've been growing. And I did actually recently upload a special video for 17,000 subscribers if you guys want to check that out. Myself and my filming crew did work really hard on that one. And on that note, if you guys want to have a chance at joining future videos that involve my filming crew make sure to join my discord server and apply for it the link to that is in the description below i would highly recommend it as we have some cool stuff planned for the future but anyways without further ado let's get straight into the video so for the first one here we're actually going to be looking at forza moments video as he actually spotted a fictional chevrolet suburban in greenville so as you guys can see right here it looks like he was in truckville and doggone was actually seen driving the new fictional suburban so obviously it will look a bit bigger than the tahoe as you guys can see so it probably looks like it will have more seats and it also has more cargo space as well as you guys can see honestly a very nice looking vehicle also has 3d headlights which is definitely really nice to see especially on these fictional vehicles and once again we do see that durant branding on it and as of recent this vehicle has made a lot of different appearances in greenville so it's definitely nice to see it again obviously the tahoe and the suburban do look quite similar but it's still some nice stuff to see another one here is actually the oldsmobile cutlass that hasn't came out into the game yet this one was also spotted driving around in a roleplay server and an interesting thing to point out is that this is actually more or less like a beta trim so as you guys can see it's like missing a tail light here and it has a rusted hood on it and there's also probably some other stuff as well like for example you can literally see the hub here and it doesn't have any hubcaps on one of them and it's definitely pretty cool to see beta cars coming back to the game once again a more detailed view from the front there personally probably not a car that i'm going to be driving around but uh what if floats your boat i guess still pretty cool to see these like devs and stuff driving around these unreleased cars though and i have a feeling this is something that we're seeing more now with fictional vehicles coming out into the game interesting thing to point out here as well is that the car brand for oldsmobile is actually going to be new car it's definitely one of the better looking beta cars that we've ever had in my opinion though it actually has a lot of detail to it surprisingly and yeah overall a very very nice vehicle and i'm assuming a lot of people are probably going to be buying this thing but that's all the videos that we have from forza moments so shout out to him for allowing me to use those videos some pretty interesting stuff that he saw there next up here we are on the sheds channel and he actually spotted the unreleased fictional 7 series so from my knowledge this was actually spotted in ngvrp as you guys can see it does look quite interesting first thing we can notice is that the grill sort of has a weird shape to it but by the looks of it it does seem to be cut off by this decal so when it actually comes out it likely will not look anything like this same as the headlights they honestly just look way too tiny in my opinion you can also sort of tell that the decal does cover a lot of spots here as well and it also even covers some passenger windows and those tail lights are definitely covered up as well so i mean a lot of people were freaking out thinking that it was actually going to look like this but it's pretty obvious to me that it won't and it was even stated that it would look different to this as well when it actually releases so for you guys who are freaking out about it like looking ugly and stuff it probably won't look ugly when it actually comes out hopefully but it's still definitely cool to see it in game though as this is technically the first time we've seen a new bmw since it was initially removed from the game so i'm definitely happy that they're bringing it back but anyways huge shout out to the shared for letting me use this video next up here in gvcn we have quite a lot of stuff to go through so for First of all, the new Cadillac was spotted in game. Definitely has some nice detail. Some pretty nice photos of it here as well. It looks like there's like shaders or something. That actually looks super clean. I can't even lie. That lighting is actually crazy too. And then a close up right here. That looks crazy. I don't know what graphics this guy has, but that's pretty insane. And then some more pictures of it right here as well in a white color. Once again, looking very, very clean as you guys can see. I know that a lot of people are hyped to see this. Got some more very detailed photos of it right here as well. Some more close ups. I don't know if I'm tripping, but I feel like that grill might actually be 3D, which if so, that's extremely sick. And once again, I I just love these tail lights too. They stand out so much. Also, detailed side mirror picture right there. Also, we have what looks to be the Tahoe as well. Obviously, though, we now know what it does look like when it's uncovered. Looks extremely nice, and I'm pretty happy with this being the first new Chevrolet in Greenville. And then here are some photos that are actually driving around the place as well. Very, very clean. I'm definitely gonna buy this thing when it comes out. It actually looks like the logo glows as well. I don't know if that's just this person's graphics or if that's actually like a feature. If so, that's actually really sick. Like that looks super clean in my opinion. Also, another picture of the Cadillac here, but the thing about this one is that it's actually a hearse version. So I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be the first fictional hearse vehicle that we're going to be getting in game. And I'm pretty sure this is coming out because I don't know why they would make it just to not release it. Definitely a very interesting one though. Definitely going to be interesting to use for some role plays. And once again, like I showed in Shed's video, we actually have the new BMW right here. And yeah, it is pretty obvious to me that a lot of it is covered up. I mean, I doubt they would ever release a car with tail lights that look like this. But I mean, just based off the body shape alone and whatnot, it looks pretty solid in my opinion. Then we also have the Oldsmobile right here as well, which we could see in Forza Moments video. Actually pretty cool because in Forza Moments video, we only saw the beta trim, but this is actually like i guess the base trim probably and this actually looks pretty solid in my opinion and this is the same beta trim that we got in forza moments video as you guys can see actually a super detailed beta vehicle i actually just noticed that the headlights are also cracked up as well and there's a lot more scratches on the side too even the number plates like falling off honestly a really detailed beta car then right here we have another picture of the suburban and this was taken in truckville then we have some more pictures of the new oldsmobile as well once again very very interesting easily one of the best looking beta cars that we've ever had in my opinion some nice tahoe pictures right here as well i 
honestly really dig this blue color. Looks super nice in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. And this looks to be the Suburban once again. I will say the Suburban actually looks super nice in my opinion. I honestly really dig how this thing looks. Now the next one here is actually a pretty insane one and a lot of you guys have been hyped for this. But if we actually scroll down here, you guys can see the brand new Lamborghini Gallardo. That's right, this thing is finally coming back to the game, obviously in a fictional form. And as most of you guys know, in one of the recent updates, we actually got a brand new fictional Lamborghini Hurricane. And this thing was pretty highly praised by the community as it does have a lot of features that actually resemble the original Hurricane. And it is honestly just a very nice looking vehicle, which fun fact was actually recently updated with new blinkers. And now obviously we are getting the brand new Gallardo. And I mean, this thing looks crazy, honestly. Once again, like the Hurricane, it doesn't look too far off the original Gallardo. Obviously, it does look a bit different here and there, but especially the rear end of the vehicle honestly looks super, super similar. So as you guys can see there, it does resemble it quite strongly, but it is probably different enough to the point where Greenville won't get in trouble for it. Also, you can see the engine bay at the back there as well. Honestly, it looks super clean in my opinion, and this is definitely going to become one of the nicer budget supercars out there. And here is actually a video of it driving around in game as well. This one is in a nice red color, as you guys can see. It actually looks super nice though, I can't even lie, dude. The guy Auto was literally like my first supercar in Greenville back in GV3, so it's definitely nice to see this thing coming back, and I'm definitely going to be copying it. And then also, we have what looks like a WSP Tahoe trim. This looks so detailed, I can't even lie. This is probably one of the most detailed looking WSP vehicles that we've ever had in Greenville. I honestly love how this thing looks. Big credit to Dogon for making this vehicle look so good, bro. Easily one of my favorite looking fictional cars so far. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, we are on the road to 17.1k subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the huge support on the channel as of recent. I genuinely cannot believe it. And for those of you guys who would like to watch my last video where I actually made a video with my filming crew, make sure to check that out. We worked very hard on it. And for those of you guys who want to join my filming crew, make sure to do so in the description below by joining my Discord server. Also, before we do it in today's video, for those of you guys who are wondering how to join my filming crew, since a lot of people get confused with how to do it, once you've joined my server and verified your account, you simply go over to applications and then you will see right here Shard's filming crew applications. Then right here, you simply just fill out a few questions, which are not very hard whatsoever. And honestly, it is very easy to pass this application and it will give you guys a super high chance of partaking in some of my future videos. And then essentially, you just have to wait until your application's read, then you can go over to application results and then you will see if you passed here. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.